this hair is giving <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Today I will be doing the wig cap method and also installing this hair. So I'm gonna show you all the steps, how to get your wig cap to lay on your head and also how to install a closure wig. I want you guys to bear in mind, like a lot of times when people do the wig cap method, it's perfect and it's like laid really flat and melted in your scalp. You don't have to do that for your hair to look good. And you will see that in this video, I did not do my wig cap method perfectly, but I did it enough. I did it well enough for my hair to look this good. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so first you start by pulling your wig cap down over your head. Then, as you can see in the video, I am putting my glue on the outskirts of my edges. And after this, I'm just going to let it dry and blow dry it. Now I'm cutting parts for my ears to go through, so I'm just going to do that on each side, then continue to blow dry it and ensure that the part that I that are done by the my ears are glued. Some persons like to sew that part that they put behind their ear, sew the wig cap into the hair, but in this video I will not be doing that. So now you just take your scissors or your razor and you cut the wig cap. I decided to add more glue because I felt like I needed some more. So I'm just going to blow dry that again. So I finished blow drying the glue and I'm continuing to cut my lace. What you're going to do at this part is ensure that you cut off all the part that you did not glue down. So now I'm using my razor. And I'm going over and make sure that that part at my ears is down. I am now cutting off the lace that is left under my ears and to the back of my head. After doing that, I will be using got to be glue to fix the excess wig cap that is at the front. I'm using my tail comb to help to hold it down and to get it to have that melted look.
after going down your recap you're now going to move to blending your recap with your complexion so i will now be using makeup and a makeup brush to blend my recap how far back you go with your makeup and how far to the sides you go is dependent on you and your preferences and also the kind of lace that you will be installing if you'll be doing a 13 by 4 frontal then it would be better for you to go further to the back and to the sides whereas if you're going to be doing like a 4 by 4 closure you can mainly focus on that center part and four inches to the back which is where the closure will end now i'm using some rubbing alcohol to clean the glue off my forehead and other places that i don't need glue to be Here's a look at the hair that I will be installing in this video. It is so nice. It's literally amazing. Okay guys, so I'm finished putting on my wig cap. I am not the most neat person when it comes to putting on my wig cap because I'm doing it for myself. So I don't really try my best to like make it blend and make it lay as flat because like for me personally, it just doesn't really matter. Um, so the hair that I'm going to be installing today is going to be a, tw a 10A 22 inch curly hair and it's going to be 180 density with HD lace. This hair is actually glueless, comes with two straps, this one and the normal straps that, you know, wigs come with and the combs. Let me show you guys how this strap came out. Let me go show you guys how I put it back in. So yeah, this is a closure wig. And so I really didn't need to like do the wig cap method all the way across my head, but I really wanted to do it for the sake of this video just so that you guys could see it. So now I'm just gonna put this in and put it on. All right, and this is glueless, so I also didn't need a wig cap. <laughs> like I could have just dragged it on and went, but I wanted to show you guys how to install your wigs. All right, let us get into it. Do you guys see that? what lace what lace hd closure hd lace closure all right so here's my wig cap here's the lace the lace ends here because it's a four by four here's my wig cap again all right This is 22 inches. Take it off. Get some powder on my brush. And brush that on my lace. I mean, it's HD lace. As you guys could see, it was right in my skin. But, you know, I could still go ahead and add some powder to the lace. All right, back on my head. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna make sure to get the hairs out of the way. Use your clips or whatever it is that you have to hold them in place. As you can see, I've never worn this, so it still has the lace and everything.
okay so i'm gonna add some more glue so that it's gonna like really hold the hair tight which this is glueless i don't really need to be doing that but i'm still going to be doing it So now I'm just putting the lace down on that glue, I'm trying to get that in there. Okay, so now I'm just making sure that my part is straight by making the part in line with the center of my face. And then I'm going to move on to using the wax stick to hold down the flyaway hairs to ensure that I am getting my part to be as straight as possible. It's almost as if I've already cut the lace. That is the power of HD lace. Like it just blends right in. All right guys, so let us go ahead and cut this lace off now. You can use scissors, you can use a razor. I'm just using some more of my wax stick to get some flyaways to lay still so that I don't cut them when I'm trying to cut the lace. You can cut your lace from this side to this side, but I tend to go from the center, then do one side at a time, just so that, just because that's like easier to manage for me. Okay, so I tend to take my time whenever I use a razor because I really don't want to scrape myself. So I just have like a little bit of excess lace left that I need to get off right now. So I have finished cutting all the lace that I'm going to be cutting off. And now what you do is to just blend your lace into your skin. And what you use is makeup <laughs> to powder and a brush. So I know not everyone is a baby hair type of person, but this is a closure and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do my baby hair. Now I'm no baby hair pro, but I can do a little something. So let's get into that. So I'm gonna get my tail comb or rat teeth comb, if that's what you call it. And I'm gonna section off a part. 
to do my baby here. Well, as you can see, I don't have even sections on both sides, so I'm going to go back in and fix that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hair. Some people use a razor for this part. I prefer to use a scissors because I don't want to risk cutting myself with the razor as I told you guys After installing a curly wig, you will need to add water to the hair. After adding water, add your curling agents. Okay guys, so I just showed you all the steps to how I achieved this hair. This is the finished product. It's giving, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can add mousse to your curly hair, but my mousse broke, so 
I add water and silicone mix. So if you most if you don't have mousse, you can use conditioner and you can use silicone mix. Don't ever feel like you need to go out of your way to buy products that you see everyone using. There's always like things that you can use in place of something. I really hope this video was helpful to you in your wigging style journey. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Ramona H. Bye guys, have a great day.